So on the topic of super ultra technical things, I had a question that I asked my community um, about a while back, and they were asking about blade element theory. Does that mean mm -hmm. anything to you? And is it in Microsoft Flight Sim? So I think it's something, when you look it up on the internet, it was invented for simulation of propellers, yeah. uh, wind turbines, um, um, for ships. Ship, uh, how do you call it? It's propeller too? Ship propeller, yeah. Yeah, yeah ship propellers. It's a very th specific uh, theory, so um, we we didn't com come from that angle, right? We really we really looked at we wanted to simulate the surface on. Uh, we looked at the airplane like uh, okay, it's the surface. The air air is flowing above it. So because in blade when when, it, when they simulate um, like uh, you see sometimes um, papers on wind turbines a lot because they want to really make a max of energy, they slice it up sort of right into slices and stuff. So we really simulate the surface, right? With how the air flows over, and uh, and uh, I think there's many different theories, right? We we tried a bunch, and uh, and already I showed the video I showed you. You see how four different systems work together. Mm -hmm. It's really a combination of technologies to get the best accuracy and uh, and precision out of it. And uh, yeah, I, I heard of it. So that's not exactly what we do. So it's just another theory of all the theories yeah, I mean, to make it happen. In the end, what happens in real life is just gazillions of particles interacting, right? So you need to approximate it somewhere. There's plenty of techniques to approximate, gotcha. approximate that. And we, we choose, usually we choose the best ratio of, I would say, uh, accuracy and performance, right? You want to have super good results and have it be as, as cheap as possible on the CPU.